Good morning, folks. Having a quick look at the world, there was a landslide in Peru this morning. A little bit north of that, there was an outbreak of malaria and an epidemic hazard of H1N1 swine flu. Also over in Pakistan, they had their largest earthquake in a couple of months. Having a look at some scientific articles, this is a pretty good one about how Jupiter flings asteroids in Earth's direction. We also put this one in last night's video. It's a very good read about our oceans. We'll put this article below. This is out of China, another one talking about some of their financial problems and uh, important topics over the coming year. And last but not least, these are our oil producers. These are the Saudis talking about Obama being a problem. We had one coronal mass ejection impact yesterday, and while it's not horribly evident on the yellow, you can see the density there in the orange go from low uh, to right around 10 uh, protons per cubic centimeter. The spike is a lot more easy to see here on the SOHO uh, solar wind data. But it wasn't a very strong impact. There was not a geomagnetic storm. It, does co it did cause a little bit of resonance here on the planet, but the big story was with our ionosphere. The magnetosphere did not do its job as well as we would like. Um, in terms of blocking all the solar plasma and it was reported by many different uh, agencies and on many different counters elevated electron counts in our outer radiation belt. We have Earth's footprint over here by this departing mega spot. So if it has anything to say before it goes, it better do it soon. NASA does still have it labeled as Beta Gamma Delta. Personally at this point at 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, I do not see any delta spots whatsoever, but it is gamma and could put off some flares. I'm more worried about what's coming around the other side of the sun, you know, this part of, uh, it's not as visually appealing as that mega spot was coming around, but you can see it is active and it is putting out coronal mass ejections. You can see that little blip there as the uh, coronal matter kind of shoots outward there. So we'll have to keep an eye on this, folks. This really may be taking the place of 11429 as it turns a limb. Many people were scared of this thing uh, yesterday. We saw a ton of videos about it. It is just a regular old filament, and it did erupt. Uh, for those of you who have been questioning, it is not coming towards Earth. Uh, it is really beautiful. It's uh, something we haven't seen in a while. We look over here on the stereo just to be sure. Earth is all the way over to the right, and so you can see that none of this ejected material is coming out in our direction. Now beyond this folks, we have a trans-equatorial coronal hole that will be facing Earth in a couple of days in this magnetic filament just over top of it here. Last thing I'm going to leave you with here, look all the way over on the right, you can see the solar wind temperature in the green, the speed in the yellow, and the density in the orange all jumping up there at the end. That is the second coronal mass ejection impact that we've been waiting for and let's have an eye on this all day. Be safe everyone.